Sometimes you'll uh, come across a situation, a quandary, you call it a mystery even, where you don't know the answer to something. And there's plenty of things like that. And even some people like mystery books or movies that are mysterious, right? But when we talk about a mystery in the Bible, uh, in the New Testament, when it talks about a mystery, it's talking about something that was previously hidden or clouded, but now has been revealed. So when the New Testament, and especially when we get into Ephesians chapter 3, starts talking about a mystery, what you need to know is that the mystery is actually not mysterious. It's very clear. It has been revealed. So this Sunday, we're going to be in Ephesians 3, 1 to 13. And I want to ask you to read it in advance. Be praying for the preaching. Be praying that God would save and sanctify as he sees fit, as he wills, as he has decreed. And let me just start the passage. Let me read it, and then we'll be done. For this reason, I, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, on behalf of you Gentiles, assuming that you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for you, how the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I have written briefly. When you read this, you can perceive my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to the sons of men in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. This mystery is that the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body, and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel I was made a minister according to the gift of God's grace, which was given me by the working of his power. To me, though I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to bring to light for everyone what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things, so that through the church the manifold wisdom of God might be made fully known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was in according to the eternal purpose that he has realized in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through our faith in him. So I ask you not to lose heart over what I am suffering for you, which is your glory. All right. See you Sunday.